What's good, YouTube? I'm back here with Brock Lesnar. Um, I'm bringing you a new deck profile. Um, just got back from my local tag team tournament today. Played with my good friend Alex. Um, he played Madolfe. And yeah, it was just a, an eight team tournament. Uh, three rounds. We went uh, three and oh. Won all three games. And yeah, so I played uh, Pendulum Magicians. It's the only deck I've got. And yeah, basically I did all the legwork and he mopped up one game and didn't do a vast amount of the others. But it was still fun. Uh, he still got to do some of his plays and I think our opponents were a little bit more scared about him than they were about me. So yeah, um, whatever. <laughs> so deck profile for this. Um, I might try and get Alex's deck profile as well uh, on the channel. Um, it'll be on Carlisle Gamer's channel nearly. Uh, with a couple of modifications back to being in single format. So, a <clears throat> uh, little bit of theory behind the deck. I thought we would be playing slightly longer games, so I put a couple of spicy techs in. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Straight into the deck profile. We played some hand traps. We played three ghost ogre. Uh, I still don't have ash. I'm not buying them. Um, so yeah, played three ghost ogre. Two effect failure. Um, I'm still on the on the sort of uh, fence about this. I really like Effect Failure, but I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to play it. Um, I'm going to test it this week, see how it goes. They are probably the weakest two cards in my deck. Um, but yeah, and obviously one Maxi, who's really good. I really enjoy the Maxi, although I didn't draw him at all today. So, yeah, uh, with them <coughs> played, excuse me, a Performer Palangin, small Performer Palangin. We played three Skull Crowbat Joker. Uh, obviously, you want him as early as possible because you can search pretty much every other card that I'm going to show you <coughs> except for one. Um, then we played two Performer Pal Pendulum Sorcerer just because he is you know you, you use him to pop your double iris turn one you use him to pop whatever you need um, and you know just keep the engine ticking over with an, an X Skull Crowbat Joker and we played one Dag Daggerman uh, just because he's really swag and uh, yeah I may have played him once, played him in game two, and uh, yeah, it was alright, he didn't do very much, but he was there, he was nice. Uh, onto the Magician Engine, this is the meat and uh, meat of the deck. So we played three double iris, you know what this does, it searches your pendulum graph cards, which are both ridiculous um, and really, really good. Then three purple poison magician, pops face up cards when it's destroyed, and well, the pendulum effects didn't really come up. This pendulum effect did a little bit, uh, you know, giving everybody, giving a guy a 1200 sack. It's always good. Uh, Black Fang Magician, I was playing three of this because it was pre link and <clears throat> I could make uh, exceeds a lot. So I had a few spellcasters in the grave and then I could get them back. Uh, also, his pendulum effect did come up once, I believe, as well. Uh, Harmonizer Magician, we played three of that. Uh, main tuner of the deck, pendulum from your hand, special other magician. Make players. Uh, obviously, I could pendulum loads back from the uh, the extra deck as well, with it being pre-link. So I could do some silly things with that. Uh, I also really like this card's pendulum effect. Um, it's small margins, but I uh, I really like just a little extra bonus. Uh, and sort of what makes the deck tick? Three wisdom eye magician. <clears throat> uh, we all know what this does from back in the day. Pop it. Set scales. Have fun and win. And we played three one ofs. Played one white wing magician. Obviously, you know, I didn't play any Omegas today. Um, they haven't turned up yet, but Omegas, you know, synchro players for days. One off Dragon. Um, I maybe should have played two of this today. Could have had a little bit more utility, but uh, it's fine. And one Astrograph Sorcerer, who I would have cut for this, because I just, I'm starting to not dislike this card. I just, I don't think it's the strongest card that we can play in the deck. Now on the spell cards, um, so I played two Star Pendulum Graph, really liked two of this. Uh, when I first got the deck I only played one, but I really like two, uh, I just think it's really good. Two Judas Alliance, um, <clears throat> I'm testing three of these out in my actual deck, but two is a fine number for this. Uh, you know, you can only really add these and the uh, Pendulum Sorcerer, but you know, it's all good. Two Wavering Eyes, uh, didn't, there was no other Pendulum decks in the tournament. That I saw, so I didn't need the third one, but it's nice to have two of these 
for some combo plays and, and adds and stuff. Uh, and a little bit of spice, well not spice, but we play two Cosmic Cyclone, sort of semi-sided, um, just because I thought there'd be a lot of sort of rogue and, and back row heavy decks and having an extra out to them was nice. This was a, uh, I played this in our last game against the other undefeated team going into the third round and uh, I don't think it won us the game, but it certainly helped. And one pendulum call still, just because you don't need any more than one. Two traps still, just played two of these. Two time pendulum graphs. Uh, Alex played the barriers, bottomless, solemn warning, and all that jazz. Um, just because his deck had a little bit more room in it for, for it than mine. And uh, yeah. So that was the main deck. 42 cards, I think it was. Um, it Yeah, it performed really well. I drew Brick Hand game two, but. I'll go into the games after this, but yeah, drew brick hand once, and the other two times I opened really good, so it was okay. On to the extra deck, so we played a Beals, uh, didn't make it. Played a Skylight Red Dragon, didn't make it. Played Ignista, didn't make it, although these are all really good choices, I feel. Crimson Blader, should have made it game three, but didn't see any tuners till I'd already cleared the board. Scrap Dragon, didn't make it. Enlightenment Paladin, didn't make it. And Supreme King Dragon Clear Wing made it game one. And uh, I'd like to say it won us the game, but it yeah, it's all it did win us the game. It was it was good. Uh, Exceeds Lightning didn't make it. Utopia made it once. It got bottomless. Trapeze Magician made it a couple of times to attack for game. Uh, Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellion made this once. Uh, won us the first game. Time Star Magician made this two games out of three. Babuska didn't make it. Tornado Dragon made it game three because I opened okay but fairly weak and needed an extra player. And Abyss Dweller there um, didn't make it. Oh, bloody hell, that's some glare, isn't it? Uh, didn't make it. But yes, uh, that was the extra deck. Uh, as I say, no Omegas, they haven't turned up yet. So, didn't play them. Um, Rounds, round one, we played against <coughs> uh, what turned out to be Invoked, Windwitch stuff, um, and Zombie Swarm, I think. Uh, didn't really see much of the deck. They didn't know what any of Alex's cards did, uh, and what a lot of my cards did, so we just put a lot of pressure on them, and we won on our second turn. Uh, we just out-resourced them, and they, they didn't have anything. Uh, Game two, we played a really grindy game against Dark Magicians, two guys using both Dark Magicians. Um, and yeah, basically we, me, both me and Alex opened fairly bricky hands, but we opened on our resilient cards so we could sort of fight back and, and take the game. It was a long game, maybe half an hour, um, where our decks, well, my deck had just a little bit more gas than than theirs and, and it was what what got us over the line and then game three we played against dark lords and true draco volcanics i don't know what any of the dark lords do um but the guy summoned christia but i was able to play around it and we were able to put five fairies in the grave and he had no answers and couldn't summon anything so we could just uh kick on and and really sort of win the win the third game um wasn't as close as it looked on life points. We got down to, uh, I believe it was 5,000 life points. Looking at my notes here. Uh, game one, we took 16,000 life points. We took 2,700. Uh, game three, we took 2,900. And game three, we took, we were down to, uh, well, we took uh, 10,000, no, 9,900 we took on that one. Um, but we took one big attack from the Dark Lords, basically, which couldn't do anything against us after we sort of cleared the board and they had no comeback players. But yeah, that was a tournament. Um, it was really fun. Uh, we'll be looking forward to um, defending our Tag Team Championships. Didn't get any belts or anything. Um, looking forward to our Tag Team Championships in February when the next one is. Uh, we'll be looking to play something really spicy then as well. Um, Maybe take it a little bit less seriously and not play meta, but it's the only cards I've got at the moment. So, but yeah, we'll see. It was fun. Um, thanks to Kieran and Deckbox Games, Deck, Deck Box Games for putting the tournament on at Carmel Gamers. And yeah, uh, if you've got anything you'd like to say, pop it in the comments below. Thanks very much. Bye now.